In the previous class, we have learned measurement of weight. Today, we are going to learn time. Tell me what all you will do in a day with time. I will wake up at morning 6 o'clock. Brush my teeth, take bath and then study. And at 8 o'clock, I will have breakfast. And at 9 o'clock, go to school. And in school, at 12 o'clock, I have lunch. At 4 o'clock, return home. And play with my friends at 5 o'clock. At 6 o'clock, I will get ready to study. At 8 o'clock, have my dinner. And at 9 o'clock, I will go to bed. Here is a clock. Can you read the time from this clock? When the minute hand is on 12 and the hour hand is on any number, then the time is shown by the number on which the hour hand is. Here, the hour hand and the minute hand both are on 12. So the time shown by the clock is 12 o'clock. O'clock is the short form of of the clock. As the minute hand completes one round, the hour hand moves to the next number, that is 1. So the time will be 1 o'clock. Also, it means that 1 hour is complete. Similarly, every time the minute hand completes one round, the hour hand moves to the next number. Thus, the time shown will be 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock and so on. As the minute hand completes its 12th round, the hour hand will also be on 12 and the time will be 12 o'clock again. However, the difference between the first 12 o'clock and the second 12 o'clock will be day and night. Now we can practice how to draw a clock. First draw a circle, then keep a center point. In the first, draw write a 12 o'clock. In this opposite, you have to mark 6 o'clock. 12 opposite 6. So vertical line. And horizontally first 3 o'clock then 9 o'clock. Mark small line and write 9 and 3. It look like plus. After that you have to mark leave equal distance and write 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. After that leave equal distance and 4 and 5. After 6, 7 and 8. After 9, 10 and 11 o'clock. Totally we draw 12 hours in a clock. Now I am drawing 3 o'clock. So shorter hand. The hour hand must be shorter. The minute hand must be Longer to touch the number. To touch the number. Here the shorter hand is hover hand. The shorter hand is hover hand. The longer hand is minute hand. The longer hand is minute hand. The red color thin hand is called what? Second hand. Here the second hand is moving faster to complete one minute. So, 1 minute equal to 60 seconds. Children, 1 minute equal to 60 seconds. To complete one rotation, it may 1 minute. The second hand is moving faster to complete 1 minute. We can consider 12 as 0 minutes. Consider 12 as 0 minutes. In between 12 and 1, there are 5 minutes. How many minutes are there between 12 and 2? 10 minutes. How many minutes are there in between 
12 and 3. 15 minutes. So here 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40, 45, 50, 55. So if they reach 12, 60 minutes. So 1 hour equal to how many minutes? 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. By the way, Clocky, I need your help on reading the clock. I will help you understand how to read a clock. Thanks a lot. Please tell me. As you know, I am a clock. I am a machine used to indicate time. I have three needles. This is the thinnest needle of mine called as the second hand. This is also the fastest running hand. Now this needle of mine is called as the minute hand which runs little slower than second hand and the third one is called as the hour hand which is supposed to be the smallest needle. It is the slowest running needle. Tia, can you see some numbers marked on me? Yeah, numbers from 1 to 12. They are the ones which show us time. Now count the number of lines from 12 to 1. 5 lines. Between each two numbers, 5 lines are there. Total, there are 12 numbers. So the number of lines are 12 multiplied by 5 equal to 60 lines. Let us suppose this second hand starts from 12. When it completes one full round, and comes back to 12 again. Total, it covers 60 seconds. As we know, there are 60 lines. Then we can say that 1 minute is completed. That is, 60 seconds equal to 1 minute. Similar to this second hand, the minute hand, when completes its one full round, we can say that it has completed 60 minutes. And 60 minutes, is same as 1 hour. So 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. Now I will tell you how to read me. Firstly, my hour hand is on any number and minute hand on 12. Then the time represents that number where my hour hand lies. See, here my hour hand is on 3 and minute hand on 12. Then we see the time is 3 o'clock. Children, now we can draw the hands of the clocks to show the given time. First, there is given 11 o'clock. First, we can write 12 opposite 6 o'clock. Then 3 9. Keep a center dot 12 opposite 6 o'clock, 3 opposite 9 o'clock. And this middle give equal distance and write 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. After this, here there is mentioned 11 o'clock from center point. Draw the hover hand. Should not touch the number near 11 o'clock. Then longer hand at 12. Longer hand to touch the number at 12. So the time is now 11 o'clock. Next 7 o'clock. First what we have to do? We have to draw the 12 opposite 6, 3 and 9. 3 and 9, 1, 2, middle, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 and 11. After that, in center point, 
Draw the shorter hand near seven. Draw the shorter hand near seven. Then longer hand touch the twelve. So now we draw seven o'clock. Next six o'clock. Twelve. Keep a center point. Twelve opposite six. Then three opposite nine. In middle one o'clock. Two, four, five, seven, eight. Leave equal distance and you have to write eleven. Then we want to draw the six o'clock. First, draw the hover hand. Should not touch that number. Small and longer hand. Touch the twelve. So now time is. Six o'clock. The time is six o'clock. Now we can draw the hands of the clock. What time is it? it it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. We have to draw one hour later. We have to draw one hour later. So after five, six. After five, six. So we have to draw six o'clock. First, draw the shorter hand. Then longer hand, shorter hand and longer. So after five, one hour later is six o'clock. And next to question, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. We have to draw two hours later. Two hours later. So after eight, nine and ten. Nine and ten. So we have to draw ten o'clock. So first we can draw shorter hand. Ten o'clock, then longer hand near twelve. So two hours later, ten o'clock. What time is it? It's twelve o'clock. What time is it? It's six o'clock. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Today. We have learned to read the time and to draw the hands of the clock. Copy these in your term book. Thank you, children.